Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today we're going to conduct a test of the new Evinrude E-Tech G2 300 horsepower outboard engine. This engine represents a huge leap forward in technology to include not only the available power, but also integrate the trim and steering. Let's take a look at these aspects first. In designing the E-Tech G2, Evinrude had several goals. First, however, let's take a look at three very different features that make all Evinrude E-Tech G2 engines so unique. Steering, mounting, and trim. First, the steering. Evinrude designed the steering around a helix so that when the hydraulic pressure is applied to the top, it turns one way. When applied to the bottom, it turns the other. This means two things to the end user. First, there are no more steering rams cluttering up the engine well, and second, everyone gets hydraulic steering as a standard feature. Now all of the components that used to move with every turn of the wheel are now stationary and not subject to the constant wear and tear of the engine's movement. 80% of the maintenance problems are now eliminated. As for mounting, Evinrude did away with the hooks that go over the transom and instead went with this flat mounting system. Reason being, the old method produced a cantilever effect to twist the mount when power is applied. Here, with the system kept flat, that twisting moment is now eliminated. Now combine this with the improvements to the steering and the wandering when power is applied or chopped is no longer present and we get a straight and true track. Finally, there's trim. Eye trim comes with every new E-Tech G2 engine. There are preset parameters that are boat specific, whether for bass boats, pontoons, offshore. And these map parameters are based on RPM and throttle position to automatically adjust the trim for you. Of course, these can be overridden simply by activating the trim switch on the engine control at the helm. And they can also be tweaked with the control screen. So let's head to our boats. First up, an offshore performer with a length overall of 34 feet 11 inches, a beam of 10 feet 9 inches, and a draft of 23 inches. Our test weight was 12,461 pounds. Here, we're driving triple Evinrude E-Tech G2300s turning 15 by 20 stainless props. Top speed was reached at 5850 RPM and 59.4 miles per hour. At that speed, fuel flow was measured at 72.7 .7 gallons per hour, and with the boat's 360 gallon tank, that means a range of 265 miles. Best economy for the triple Evinrude E-Tech G2s was at 3,500 and 33.8 miles per hour. That brought the fuel burn down to 22.7 gallons per hour. So that's with a triple installation. Let's look at it as a single engine on a completely different test. A bay boat with a length overall of 24 feet 7 inches, a beam of 100.5 inches, and a test weight of 3,934 pounds. Here, the Evinrude E-Tech G2300 hits its top speed at 5,500 and 51 miles per hour. That produced a fuel burn of 24.3 gallons per hour. Best economy with this single installation? The G2 again came in at 3,500 RPM with a speed of 31 miles per hour and a fuel burn of 7.7 .7 gallons per hour. As for performance, we noted that this engine does respond well to the throttle. At all locations, at the engine control, there were no dead spots and response was instantaneous regardless of where the throttle was advanced from. Cutting power kept a straight track as did the hole shots. We did notice the power steering was a little tight on the triple installation, but not on the single. In our opinion, the design team at Evinrude seems to be onto several advantages with the new generation of E-Tech engines. We measured better economy and were quite impressed with the new steering geometry and how it should significantly reduce maintenance. And as for the eye trim feature, it works as advertised. And that's our full test of the Evinrude E-Tech G2300. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.